witness the sheer majestic wonder of such a scene, it's hard to think of the beautiful kingfisher as being in the same league as the big cats, bears, and other meat-eating creatures. But it is a predator, quoted in the Oxford Dictionary as being an animal naturally preying on others. But this description is misleading, as there are equivalents in the insect kingdom too. This fly-eating caterpillar is an unusual sight, and this praying mantis would be the stuff of nightmares were it the size of a bear. The food chain shows no mercy, however, and as the larger civet feeds on insects, it and its family members become the food of even larger animals, such as the North American badger. The raccoon, seen here pursuing a crayfish, is one of the most ardent fishermen of the animal kingdom. Its tactile dexterity is far superior to any other animal, including man. Its unique control of its digits allowing even the most elusive of prey very little chance of escape. The river otter is another accomplished fisherman, but, unlike the raccoon, takes a delight in playing with its stunned prey like a cat. For all their charm, the otter and the raccoon are still predators, feeding on smaller animals, as is indeed the grey whale, which travels the ocean scooping up a soup of small crustaceans called krill as its staple diet. It's not very dramatic, but still predation. Throughout the ages, owls have been described as wise, and consequently have adopted a scholastic image among humans, but these eyes miss nothing, and even the smallest animal can fall prey equally to these claws as to those of an eagle. The sight of an owl catching a small rodent instills less fear and loathing in us than one of the biggest big cats in action. of the animal kingdom, the meat-eater is the vegetarian's natural complement. Whether the method of execution is venomous fangs, bone-crushing teeth that could tear almost any creature in half, or razor-sharp talons and a beak that will rend even the toughest flesh, the predators of the wild are to be respected for the power that they wield over the lesser creatures that cohabit their particular part of the world.